Hi guys, welcome to Twitter's funny channel. Today I am going to teach point of sale system step by step part 11 tutorial. In our last tutorial, we saw how to work with the category part, how to add the records to the database and all the stuff we saw in our last tutorial. In this tutorial, I am going to teach how to work with this brand. Right. Okay, let's move into this word file. Okay, this is the this is belongs to that uh, brand table here first column will be id second call be, call, column will be name third column will be description okay there are three columns consist of brand table id mean always generated auto incremented the name will be here and description each and every category consist of various brand various brand these are the brand names i am going to add in the database okay okay let's create the table on the database the same table i am going to create the brand table okay let's go to the database here this is my database which name is posen i already created two tables which is login another one is category now i am going to create another new table which is brands so this is the new create create new table this is the box where are you going to create the new table here insert brands okay here ask how uh, number of columns how many uh, columns you need to need so i need one two three I need three columns as we did like a category table. The same same three uh, column I need. So here I'm going to type three and go. That's it. Here here column name. First column name will be ID always. Uh, data type will be integer. Uh, length will be uh, eleven. Okay here the id always primary go and auto increment okay you put as a auto increment right okay well we uh, we study already what, what is the primary what is the uh, auto incremented in my our last uh, tutorials okay now name here watcher 20 215 characters you can give uh, any character you want but uh, two, 250 characters will be the standard and here another one is a description right. description will be text okay if you have to describe the brand okay right let's click save you have to check before save you have to check and you can click save okay now you successfully created your brand table also successfully created your brand table also now you have three tables you have created these are the table structure these are the relevant column you have created id always will be auto increment you can check this name this is the description okay okay fine okay then let's go back to our c sharp project this this form this uh, brand uh, form uh, tab will be blank now i am going to design the form form like this the same thing i am going to design i need two label controls and two checkbox controls so label and two labels get it arrange them I need two text box control here double click one double click two right no need three arrange them first right 
this will be the description you just click and make it as multi line you can type uh, rich uh, text okay here let's change the name as name for the property name here let's change the name as description Let's increase the size of the label control. What is the size we gave here? 12, I think. 12. Here I'm going to make it as the same size I'm going to give. Select the label and make it as 12. Pit bold. Click OK. This will be the same thing. Font select the font bold 12 and click OK. Right. Perfect. Now what I'm going to do is I need two uh, buttons. So let's bring bring this one uh, top. Okay, right. Now you can see here. Right. Right. I need two buttons. One is for save. Another one is for cancel. Right. Let's do it. Go, to the, go back to the toolbox and select the picture this way it will be the picture you just drag on the form perfect the same size will be getting go to the category and what is the size of this one this is the size you just select the size and back to my um, brand click on this and same size you have to paste okay right this is the size my save button will be and click click this icon and choose the image choose i already had this same image now so that i will no need to uh, select the one so i can choose from here mm. and this will be my image you can select once you selected this the image will be added in this uh, box you can select the name here right and here select as spread change right now it's fitting to your successful fitting on your uh, picture box and again back to your toolbox and uh, select the picture box like this one this one also you have to paste the size the same size this size uh, i have already copied you have to paste here also paste it press enter key here now select this one and choose the image as cancel you already i have an image cancel because i already select one time before i done with uh, category part this one not this mm, close this one click ok size mode as stretch image perfectly selected right well now we'll moving to our coding part Uh, double click on this icon here I already made the connection uh, I already uh, write the namespace and establish the connection of this form if you write the connection below the in, uh, initialization component you can access this uh, connection anywhere of this form okay so I know I, I already make the collection now what I'm going to do is I'm going to at the uh, day I, I am I'm going to select the table part only so first I'm going to write try and catch first first try open bracket and close bracket after that catch 
this is the efficient way to write the try and catch when you're writing the program okay if you got any error from uh, in the try uh, try block it's throw into the catch block and catch block will be find that kind of error and throw the message that is the thing uh, catch does try and catch does okay here first i'm going to make the mysql command this command for yes i already cmd i give here so here i'm let's uh, type as before this here cmd1 equal new sql command right here cmd1 dot connection equal con okay this this is my new cmd command from command okay here i am going to this cmd i am going to connect with this database this this database the cmd here cmd1 dot command text command text equal what i'm going to do is add the record so insert here what uh, what is the purpose of cmd is uh, whatever you are uh, doing in that uh, table view it is handling this part c uh, mysql command part so that I gave the connection to connection uh, database connection here. After that, I'm going to write the code. Whether you are going to insert or deleting or update or everything managed by this one SQL command. Okay, here I'm going to write the query insert into. You have to select the specific table name. Which is the table name? I'm going to add the record from the uh, uh, add the record to the. Uh, table which is a brand table i have a three fields left sorry i have three columns uh, here this one will be id will be auto increment we no need to add so that i need to uh, i need this two column also so the same thing we did in uh, category the same thing here we have to add the brand also here insert into first select the table name which is a brands you can check here if you forget it here brands okay the selling uh, the spelling will be important okay open bracket close bracket within the bracket you have to type the table name appropriate table name name and description you have to add okay so back to your shisha form here name comma description well now values here you have to pass two parameters with the same name okay so with uh, the same name you have to write before the name when you are passing the parameters you to, you have to put at comma description Here put and sign. That's it. Here you have to close it. Close the uh, colon mark to end the statement. Right. This is the only thing you have to do. Okay. This is the value. This is the table name. This is the value you are going to store in the database. Okay. This is this uh, this uh, parameter are parameters are I am going to set into the set into my text boxes. This text boxes i'm going to set into this text boxes so when you are typing anything else it's store into this uh, parameters and uh, equal uh, the store into the text boxes text boxes is 
passing the value this para parameters this parameter is passing the value into this relevant table table columns those how values are adding in the database okay we'll see how to do this one um, after that cmd again dot uh, parameters dot add values here go back to our form design again here i didn't type the name of the uh, text boxes select these text boxes here default come as tx txt but text box one here i am going to change the name as txt name sorry txt different shall we give that uh, different name txt brand 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 b uh, tb name because this is a brand of tb name here this one will be t d this t this right this is a t b name this is a t d s this is the name i am going to put into t b yes t b mean uh, text box brand description right this will be T B name in text box brand name right well now let's move into the coding part here parameters I'm going to set here first within the double quotation mark you have to put the parameters here this is the parameters I'm going to set into my text box just copy this one easy way to copy right click and copy and paste within the bracket and comma here you have to put the relevant text boxes to store the data so t b name so dot text this will be the our text box whatever I type into this text box you this is pass into this parameters this parameter is set into the this table this table column okay that's how values are going to add in our database okay whatever type on this uh, text box field it is passed into this name parameters this para name parameter set into the this name column this name column is available in database column database table column okay okay the same thing we have to do it in uh, description also add value with Better you copy this one. Copy right. Come on. B B this dot text. Right. Well, I forgot to close this bracket. Okay, well holes are fine now what i'm going to do is open the connection and now open the connection i i successfully create a successfully create the query now open the connection and cmd1 dot execute the comma execute non recovery mean is successfully add the record into the database when you are calling this method which is a executing non query this mean open the connection open the connection mean this connection opening after that if you call this one this will be this this will be the cmd mean this will be the uh, mysql command this will be if you, if you call this execute non query insert the record into your database so that i am writing this query here after that if it is success there is no error here the field or something no error here display the message as 
record added successfully. Record added. Okay, record added like that. Okay, right. Here I'm going to so it's some errors uh, it's some uh, something error will be occur it's throw the catch part here will pass message box dot show here i'm going to type there so this exception object here ex dot message what kind of error it's passing the message like that that's it that's the thing you have to do here this column name will be here there, there are two columns in your data you, you, if you see your table here these two columns okay if you browse there will be no re no record now what i'm going to do is click start this will be your use user interface now let's log in This is the item. If you click the item, they are, they are consist of two parts, category and brand. Here, click on the brand. Here, enter the name HP description HP brand only. It's only something. Okay. You have described a lot about HP. That is your issue. Okay. Right. If you click save record added success record added there will be no problem okay let's check to go to our back to our database and check whether data uh, the record is added or not okay let's close it okay this is our database so click on the brand table here successfully added hp will be the name description will be the hp brand only here auto increment is, is working fine okay this is how we can uh, try one more time it's very help to you all another one is a ip another brand ip click save record added okay let's switch back for window okay let's go to the jo uh, database and table click on the table here you can see here you notice that number will be two uh, ip will be the brand name ip brand only it's successfully adding the record on the database here if you notice the category these are the categories these are the various brand i am going to add like this same thing okay okay guys i hopefully you you all understand my tutorial well if you have any doubt ask me any time if you like my channel please subscribe me thank you for watching